Welcome and welcome back, dear Tarot Pals. If you've just found me through an algorithm search, I welcome you to my growing Tarot Pal community. I am also on Instagram, wherein I post daily content around tarot, rituals, uh, astrology. So if you are interested, please do check that page out as well. And you will find the disc- link in the description box below. Wow, I'm already stuttering. And if you are a returning Tarot Pal, thank you again for the continued support and all the lovely messages. I hope you guys have not missed out on the April 2022, the 2022 readings, as well as the other fun reads, which you will all find in the timeless readings playlist, again, in the description box below. If you'd like to book a personal reading, I've kind of made that very, very limited because of the less time that I have, but drop me an email and I'll try to figure out something for you. We are not doing audio readings anymore. It's going to be only uh, virtual connects and the one hour reads, or if you want an audio reading, I can do a lengthier audio reading for an hour. Okay. With that said, Today, we're going to look at the Ascended Master messages. If you are a part of the Tarot Pal community on Instagram, you already know that every Thursday, we look at guidance from the weekly, uh, for, you know, from the Sai Baba Oracle cards uh, for weekly guidance, okay? So, if you don't know who Sai Baba is, he's an Ascended Master, a miracle worker, a light worker from India, Shirdi, um, who spread the message of love, of oneness, of the fact that all gods are the same and it doesn't matter which religion you belong to, it doesn't matter what your faith is, it doesn't matter whether you are religious or not, uh, do good deeds, be a good person, be kind to animals and uh, his blessings will always, always be around you. With that said, we're going to look at what messages Baba has for you and I'm going to make three different piles and I'm going to give you some flowers today to additionally pick your pile from. Now, you can, of course, feel drawn to more than one pile. You can also listen to the entire reading, um, you know, and just associate uh, different parts of your life as in one pile could be for your career. Another pile could be, you know, for your relationships. Take what resonates, leave the rest. It's a general reading, of course. Okay. All right. I'm not taking that, but this is clearly a message for our entire uh, community, whoever's watching this, whenever you're watching this. Um, This card talks to me about Community, okay, our spiritual, our, uh, wow, I'm somehow struggling for words today, that's not me, sorry, Um, our smaller and larger community, okay, our soul family, Uh, whoever's watching this, the first message, and for all of us, Baba has is, you cannot do anything in isolation, a man is a social animal, and all of us have spirit guides, have loving people, and if you are unfortunately somebody who's feeling like you don't have anybody who loves you, and I understand there are always souls who were not born into uh, the most uh, holistic, loving families for themselves, trust me, you can always reach out to Baba and he confirms that he is sending you more souls who will be a part of your journey and who are there to support you and love you. That's just a collective message before we begin our pick a card reading. Okay, wait, I'm not ready and cards are falling. Clearly, there's a lot to hear from Baba today. Okay, Uh, if of course this reading resonates, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and Hit that bell icon if you haven't done that yet to not miss a reading. So, pile one, Om Sai Ram. What do we need to know for pile one? That's first card. We flip them all in a bit. For pile two, Om Sai Ram. Om Sai Ram. Okay, that's pile two. And if you are somebody with a little bit of a rosity, hold on. We line them up all together. Okay, pile three, Om Sai Ram. What do we need to know for pile three? That's your pile three. Okay. So I'm going to first, in fact, let's look at the card before I give you the flowers. So first pile is medium. Okay. I know some of you may or may not be able to read Hindi. So this says medium. And of course, you can go by the image. The second card is balance. The third card pile is face the truth okay i'm gonna give flowers to each of them now so let's see for pile number one i want to go with this beautiful rose one of baba's favorite flowers okay so that's pile one for pile number two i'm gonna go with 
this wild flower this has a history okay i got this from lay i mean i just collect random things when i'm on trips so this little wild flower which has dried down now has been with me from the month of august 2021 that's wild flower and for option number 3 we have a marigold like i said you may feel drawn to more than one pile listen to your intuition and i will see you in your pile hello and welcome my beautiful pile ones we will look at this card and get that into the entire reading but today i want to draw a lot of rather and i'll see how my intuition leads that uh, more oracle cards for you and then we'll wrap this up with a tarot message as well okay so what does baba want pile one to know your guidance for the next 7 to 10 days pile one wow the cards are really falling quick okay i want to somehow go with four cards today so let's see for this pile okay that's assumption that's change help those in need and silence okay okay i hope you guys can see the cards don't worry i usually lift the cards when i'm talking about them let us look at tarot guidance for pile number 1 What does pile one need to know? I keep spirit. I'm sat down. What does pile one need to know? Pile one. Okay, we have this one that one stone must come out. We'll take that. Pile one. What do you need to know? Pile one. Okay, we have four cards for you. So let's look at this. We have six of cups. Wow, we have three of coins. Six of cups is six of cups, as it says. Uh, three of coins is three of pentacles. Ace of swords. And last but not least, hermit. Okay, many messages. for pile 1 let's start with okay the first message that i'm clearly channeling here uh, for pile 1 is do you have certain rigid ideas around how people are behaving with you okay and it's not that those ideas are correct or incorrect um, perhaps you are right you know somebody is and i'm going to go both sides of the spectrum okay maybe you think somebody is really really loving and affectionate and kind and nice and they are all so goody goody to you right on the other hand you may think somebody else is really mean to you somebody else is really bad and you know you don't like being around them the first message that i have for pile 1 is the assumption of this or that if it's not coming from an actual validated incident and it's just a feeling you know it's funny i've shared a post today on my instagram account again if you skip the introduction the link is in the description box below and i invite you to join me there where the author right, talks about the difference between emotions and feelings and i strongly get that message for this pile okay emotions are pretty universal right so i love the example that is quoted there let's say there's a tiger that you see approaching and there's another um african american guy or a japanese uh, and all three of you are standing together and uh, you see a tiger or a lion coming towards you what would you feel right you are in a jungle you perhaps feel fear right of being attacked or you'd feel or you'll experience the emotion of oh my god that's such a brilliant creature now those emotions are so universal or typical let's say that if it's coming towards you and it's going to attack you it's natural that all three of you are going to feel um fear right now at the same time emotions that's what emotions are right now at the same time feelings are a by product of certain experiences of the past that you have certain bias biases certain cognitive biases that you've built up uh, through the life's journey for example you may look at a dog and go like oh my god i'm so scared and i may go look at a dog and go like oh that's so cute maybe you've just had bad experiences with dogs maybe you've been conditioned to believe that i don't know strays are ugly animals those are feelings that you're feeling right now why am i giving you this message in this in this uh, reading there is a shade of conditioning 
or assumptions coming from past experiences which is blocking whoops sorry i dropped something hold on yeah which is blocking your progress somewhere okay um, and you you're kind of coming to that place wherein you can almost see that there is a flaw in my assumption there's a flaw in my plan and maybe i am getting ruled by certain past experiences that i have because the six of cups here is also talking about your childhood okay you maybe you're raised in a certain culture maybe to you something seems like a culture shock and that's really not the true you know maybe you feel judged okay for some of you it also feels like as if um I'm going to give an example. Let's say you're 42, okay, and you're not married, right? Now in certain cultures that's oh my god. Right? Oh my god, something's wrong with you. But in certain other cultures that's no big deal, right? Now what you're feeling is that really the truth or is that just a assumption or a feeling based out of where you are in your situation? I hope I could help you understand that perspective. That's the first message Baba wants you to know, okay? Meditation is clearly a strong message coming in, and also charity. Now, these two also often talk about because I have the Ace of Swords and Silence with this card. Uh, there's somebody at the door when I was saying that. Okay, so that's like really for somebody. That's a confirmation from spirit. Nothing is very random when I'm doing these readings. You're going to be put in situations where people in the next week or so will want to confront you with. their assumptions as well with their projections as well so if you've picked this pile it's very important for you to remember does before you get into a conversation ask yourself is this really going to help me right is this going to help the other person if i just hear them out if i stay silent do i need to be a listener do i just need to understand their perspective instead of reacting to it right here and right now okay i'm hope i'm i hope that message was clear right now if you've had that second thought and you feel like yes i do need to speak something please speak your truth because ace of swords does mean that you're confronting something that needs to be confronted but make sure that you know the difference when silence is better than words right and you're going to be put in situations in the next 7 to 10 days wherein you will um have to make that conscious decision okay hermit and silence together also tell me about some of you may want to go for a retreat literal isolation literal solitude is calling you maybe you've just had really really heavy past few months and you just want to isolate yourself go towards the nature spend some time alone and the wisdom will come to you baba will speak to you directly right um silence or peace is something that you need to actively choose in the next 7 to 10 days okay other message from you here is definitely change now change from what some of you are in this now this will resonate differently like right? some of you have this challenge where in when you start working on something when you are dealing with a problem when you are going through an emotion you believe that i just got to do this alone okay but baba wants to come in and tell you that change is coming and you do have help okay man is a social animal if you if you've not if you've skipped the group message now see how beautifully each pile has that message showing up for you guys you don't have to do anything alone this is a kind of teamwork this is a kind of collaborations happening which are successful okay and for change to happen from you to make progress you getting that mental clarity that maybe there are some childhood friends who can help you maybe there are uh, there is a support group that you can go out and seek support from so not having to do something on your own and yet having the ability to take a step back and ask yourself is this conversation really helping me is this taking me anywhere okay if you feel you need more support if you feel you need more time sometimes you may struggle to get the right words to communicate what you want to say okay this is a card of a virgo there's a strong uh, mercurial effect effect on this car, on this pile okay which is of course talking about your mind which is talking about your communication style which is also talking about trading which is also talking about um short distance travel right I think I already covered that part right some of you may be literally traveling or wanting to travel but baba wants to tell you that change is on its way and positive change because all your cards are very very positive you're becoming more at peace with who you are and there's a stability coming into your life and that's a big big blessing for you work with the uh, herb basil uh, if you're not feeling too well if your throat chakra is blocked i'm doing a chakra series by the way as i'm shooting this video on the instagram account as well again follow me there um and working with tulsi or basil as we basil leaves right would be very very purifying for you okay of course if you can possibly donate food to specially food you can donate anything else specially food in the next 7 to 10 days to those who are needy if not a human do it for an animal because now i want to come towards the main card that you've picked today um you can be a source of joy to so many people around you 
okay you have a lot of wisdom and sometimes wisdom could just be to be silent okay to not react to be not triggered by every conversation and have that maturity to understand you also have biases you also hold um and whether or not you want to acknowledge it sometimes or don't our situations our society has conditioned us in a certain way our childhood still you know our childhood value system may be different from someone else but they do not have to be wrong okay i hope these messages meant something for you in your personal life and you know what aspects it will lead to it's a general guidance so i'm not trying to make it too narrowed down if this has resonated for you i want you to leave me a rose emoji down below i wish you baba's grace i wish you his patience and i wish you the ability to look at something and not get triggered by it okay because i know it's never easy it's never easy to be at that place it takes a lot of healing it takes a lot of inner power but baba tells you he's with you and you can do it om sai ram thank you so much again take care bye bye hello and welcome my dear pile twos if you've skipped the introduction quickly there's a playlist called timeless pick a card timeless readings in the description box below watch that and you'll find detailed guidance there and i'm also on instagram where i'm posting daily content currently doing a chakra series by the way uh, so i invite you to join me on my instagram community you will find the link below it's just taropal so you can just type taropal on instagram and you can find me we're going to look at today what the ascended master sai baba wants to tell you and i'm not taking that when you're not ready um uh, we'll also take some tarot messages okay so what does pile 2 need to know om sai ram what does pile 2 need to know okay om sai ram what does pile 2 need to know thank you okay we want it four cards wow there is a pile i think which had that word right no oh okay okay some of you may be confused between pile 1 and pile 2 if you wow This was our collective message. I hope you've not skipped that. If you did, go and listen to that. You clearly have something to do with pile one, and your guys are linked. Okay, okay, that is meditation. Oh, sorry. This means don't make assumptions. That's what the card says. If you can't read Hindi, this says uh, our collective consciousness, our soul family. This is meditation or focus, rather, in another way. Okay. And this is oh my god, this is one of my favorite cards. Okay, one of my favorite cards of this deck. Trust. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to move towards your tarot cards. If you guys were drawn towards pile 1 by the way, uh I strongly recommend you guys watch that as well because clearly there's a connection between 1 and 2. Okay. And now I'm going to pull some tarot cards for pile number 2. Those of you tarot pals who like to know which pile was mine, this one's mine and let's see what baba has to say to us this week okay for pile 2 okay that came out pretty darn quick okay okay and five of cups okay let's look at this hmm explains why you got that assumption card okay the underlying energy here is eight of cups okay first of all i'm sending you guys a virtual hug to pile 2 because i think you know and i know this journey has not been easy it's never an easy journey for anybody i'm not saying who picked pile 1 it was an easy journey some of us just had to had uh, the first half of a life slightly more difficult than other people as children or as teenagers and i feel you i feel you of course i'm with you in this pile okay um What does Baba want you to know right here, right now? What is your message? First of all, I want to tell you, Baba can see that you have a lot of assumptions. Okay, um, most of these assumptions feel like negative assumptions. It's not going to work out. They don't love me. I don't think I'm good enough. Um, am I really sure this is going to work out? Um, can I do this on my own? Um, will this hurt? Uh, am I strong enough for this? You have a lot of self doubt. and you may not be aware and i know this will sound funny to some of you some of you think that you are sorted you're confident you know and to in certain aspects of life you are but then you are not able to sometimes be aware of the fact that sometimes your fears okay of pain your fears of helplessness make you make certain decisions okay i'm hope i'm able to instead of having faith you're choosing fear as the 
ground level for making certain decisions in life and baba warns you that that is how you lose out of opportunities right um what do you have to lose and i know it's like you know some of you went like vidya did you just ask me what do i have to lose do you know my journey do you know how much i've had to lose i'm not saying i'm not victim shaming i'm not disregarding the fact that it's been a tough journey i started this message with that right but you did manage to get here right you are really really a strong spirit and you know it i'm not saying something just to please you you know it in your heart that there is so much emotional strength that you have shown in life um there are so many people in your life who can't even imagine can't even in your it's unfathomable strength that's the message that i'm getting that's the word i'm hearing unfathomable strength that pile 2 has shown in life so why are you shrinking yourself why are you holding yourself back what is making you scared to dream big okay this is the explorer card this is the world explorer card some of you may be literally traveling that's what baba also wants to tell you which is why i'm saying this pile needs to go watch pile 1 okay um some of you may be getting a visitor who brings you some great news but you're really really scared i can sense your fear you know i'm literally my back stingling right now i'm a clear sentient uh, and i have that physical sensation now these two here okay you i can i baba does uh, understand that you've had pains you've had betrayals you know nobody wants to see this 3 of swords and the 5 of cups this is disappointments from life this is disappointments from people we love this is disappointments from things we really really worked hard at and did not get acknowledged for but baba has seen it okay and that's your karma purification i know certain things sound so horrible uh, when you are at a certain space in life but if you have gone through certain dark night of the soul if you've lived through certain cycles of spiritual growth you value these days is of life as well right and you you'd know what i'm trying to talk about here you do have something right there as a blessing okay which you're not seeing this person is sinking but they are reaching out and but this person so disheartened so scared they're not seeing that there's still hope there's still so much they can do right and that's what baba wants to tell you now how does it come to you first of all i want to remind you you do not have to do this alone Okay. Seek help. Some of you, if you want to go for therapy, seek help. Some of you who are feeling very isolated, if you can, if you have nobody in your life to speak to, to share your worries with, to share your anxieties with, talk to Baba. Literally, before going to bed, talk to Baba. Write a letter to Baba, and you will see the release that you experience. You will see the blessings that start coming in just because you are able to speak your heart out. Okay. meditation of course and focus coming together now this is a very specific message also for your work you're working on something you're healing yourself and baba acknowledges it it's not like you know anything that i said to you right now was new you knew this about yourself you know that you're working on it you know that you have certain you guard it you're fearful and you don't want your life to be like that forever okay this person has so many pentacles okay around them it's eight of pentacles itself right and they're trying to manifest something they're trying to work with something right you do have that vision board card this is the card of the alexander for me okay that's the vision board you're working on your vision you're working and you're not letting your focus go and baba appreciates that about you even if nobody in your life tells you oh my god you spend so much time making sure that you become a better person you spend so much time trying to learn to be better than you were yesterday baba says i see it i see it okay and if you seek more relief if you seek more support if you do not have somebody in your life right now i feel many of you do have someone to reach out to but sometimes you just you know you don't want to be like a burden if you have that community around you you're blessed reached out because that's the balance of life right that's the point of having these wonderful relationships in life if you don't chanting meditation prayers that literally that's what the message says okay that's how you will find solace some of you who are planning for an education go for it some of you who are planning to get yourself skill upgraded baba wants to say your vision will come true okay if you're feeling very down and you don't know if am i dreaming to big am i asking for too much you're not and it will work out you need to have faith you need to have patience this is shraddha and saburi if you are a sai bhakt and you know that shraddha saburi phase i'm sure comment down below because i love this card whenever it shows up for me i'm so happy i picked this pile because this is baba saying it's coming for you your blessings are coming for you you have to trust me you need to have patience okay 
don't quit on something because just because you don't see the physical manifestation of it right here right now don't start assuming that it's failing just because you've not seen the signs of success yet some of you really needed to hear it if you're working on a startup program if you're working on a workout diet it could be anything right just because you're not seeing signs of success doesn't mean the plan has failed right now that's your message okay stay at it heal yourself you're doing a lot of inner healing work you're doing a lot of shadow work and baba appreciates it okay I'm going to come to this message and if you've reached this part of this reading, I really want you to leave me a sun emoji, okay, a sun emoji in the comment section below because sun is rising for this pile. You just have to have that patience, darling. You have to have that patience and I can literally feel my heart chakra, that, that light energy within because your vision is coming true. You just need to have that patience, okay. This card brings me to that feeling of anything in excess is your challenge right if you think you can do it all alone that's a problem if you're dependent on other people to come and save you be your knight in shining armor that's a problem okay what are you eating is also what this card often talks about okay because sometimes our food and our hormonal triggers may be the reason why we're feeling a certain emotion why we get into that negative mind space of self-doubt so be conscious be mindful of what you're eating at least for the next seven to ten days if not forever right i hope this has helped you i wish you nothing but love success healing and i'm so proud of this pile whoever picked this pile because uh, i see this journey okay I, and i know this this wasn't easy to overcome but this is in the past you're working on yourself you can work through anything whether you know it or you don't and your visions are coming true om sai ram take care bye bye Om Sai Ram, last but not the least, hello and welcome to Pile 3. If you've skipped the introduction, I invite you to join me on my Instagram account. The link is in the description below. I'm doing a chakra series there, which I'm pretty sure will help you a lot in your spiritual alignment and your growth. Today, we're going to look at what messages Baba has for you. And then we're going to pull some tarot cards as well uh, for Pile number 3. Om Sai Ram, what do we need to know for Pile number 3? Om Sai Ram, what do we need to know? Okay. I want to get one more card. The underlying message was, by the way, to be assertive. I want four cards for pile number three. Okay. And we have three mantras. Okay. Let's look at these cards. We'll pull some tarot. Okay. Switch our free will. Okay. The life. The longevity of something, okay? Longevity. Jeevana Vidhi is... I hope I'm translating that right. I'll explain the card to you, of course. Okay? Unity Consciousness. Wonderful how each pile had at least one card which was linked to the group message that we had before, okay? And Rang and Anand, which is happiness and sadness, okay? Two different sides of the same coin. Wow. Okay. I think I have a lot of messages coming in already for pile three. Let's look at your tarot. And see what message comes out for pile number three. What does pile three need to know? Om Sai Ram. What does pile three need to know? Om Sai Ram. What does pile three need to know? Pile number three. Okay. Six of coins, which is the six of pentacles. The queen of cups. Wow, love these cards. Okay, eight of coins. A similar message came for pile two, by the way, just in case you were drawn to this. And that's your third card, okay? The emperor. Hmm. Very specific message, of course, and take it if it resonates. Some of you are holding on to a very controlling relationship. Ah, five of coins. You're struggling with something that no longer needs to be a struggle. Uh, because there is a loop, there's a struggle here on, I'm sorry, I had to pause the video, lost my trail of thoughts, okay, um, on something which is perhaps ended, okay, but you're still holding on to it, okay, and there's a, there's a control freak within you or around you who keeps you in that loop, okay, sometimes the emperor does show up when there's excessive control, okay, and which is why I love the balance coming out here with the queen of cups, you intuitively know this, what I just said, you've already known it, Okay, and you just wanted an affirmation or something coming up. Okay, it is the card of the Aries, of course, and that's that Ram. I'm shooting this, by the way, on the new moon of Aries. So there's a reading in the description box talking about the new moon in Aries energy. You perhaps have a message there. Find that reading in the description box below. For the first message I have for this pile is help is coming your way. 
okay and you may not be able to currently understand where the help comes from but whether it's financial support because i do have the progression cards here the five of cups was your under, sorry the five of pentacles was your underlying energy and we have the six of coins if there's a loan that you wanted to get cleared that's getting cleared if you wanted um somebody to come in and support you um in a project you're getting that support so support and help is coming your way okay some of you are being pushed by baba to explore different perspectives of spirituality okay so let's say you've always only done x kind of meditation maybe you want to explore a different sort of meditation uh, maybe you've always only known about two religions in the world maybe you want to read a little bit about some other religion in the world right remember his as a miracle worker he always believed that all of them are saying pretty much the same thing which is why this unity consciousness is repeatedly saying god is one right it doesn't matter which system you believe in the message is one of goodness right we they all hopefully believe in soul i don't know if there's a religion it doesn't believe in soul right they do right all of them believe in soul all of them believe that there's a source that we come from right don't there's there's a certain sense that i feel here that you feel very isolated as if you feel like you're different and nobody can ever get you okay and that's not true some of you have very rigid concepts around how you want life to work out and that's the only biggest challenge you have you don't want to fail you don't want to be a newbie you don't want to start from the scratch and you don't want to take any risk but you need to right you need to work on being open open your heart that's what baba wants to tell you be okay with being a beginner be okay with feedback some of you maybe at workplace are acting very defensive around feedback right you don't want to hear uh, what was not so cool about your job because if you you believe it's a projection of your own entire competency or you don't want to hear uh, why your partner doesn't like certain aspects of you it's not a reflection of your entire personality it's just an observation right and i know it's hard to take criticism but constructive criticism not from a space of control okay is going to help you grow if there is a relationship that is not working out for you please let it go this could be this feels romantic to me but it could be any kind of a relationship it could be a work and a boss you know it could be a work situation it could be a family situation wherein you're feeling very controlled you're feeling very stifled you're feeling as if my dreams are not working out okay excessive attachment is the message of these two excessive attachment to happiness sometimes it's not even people i only want to do things that make me happy i only want to focus on things that bring me instant gratification okay that is your problem which is why emperor and these two sometimes also talk about bringing in that routine that balance that dedication discipline is not often easy but baba reminds you that you need discipline to succeed okay and hence you've picked the face the truth there's no rose colored glasses here there's no don't fool yourself that's the message that baba wants to tell you don't fool yourself and don't question i am so kind look at your underlying message the queen of cups is very kind she's very nurturing she's very giving but that's what this is the three mantras say do good deeds say good things right and when you do these good things when you speak these good words uh when you have clear thoughts when you have positive thoughts don't ask but that person didn't return it to me it will come back to you in a different way which is why you have six of pentacles you don't know how the karma balance is out right you don't know how that help comes into your way look at this this is like bees pentacles and then there's this one and she's literally opening that bee back into this sending him home some of you really want to go back home if you're if you're traveling or if you're feeling very isolated some of you are missing your mother or your father i have the mother and the father energy here right forgive them if if it's something that you're dealing with somewhere you know uh, parental wounds forgive them we're all one that's a message that pile 3 really really needs to resonate with um don't isolate yourself but don't hold yourself in toxic situations just because you're excessively attached to a certain feeling okay if you are feeling great if you're feeling successful if you're feeling powerful remember to stay humble if you're feeling down remember that the curve will go up again that is the message of your card and that's what baba tells you the purpose of souls coming here is not for it to be stagnant not for it to be same not for it to be just the good things okay and it's a very short life that's the best part right we are mortals <laughs> the most scariest thing for me at least personally is oh my god i don't want to be immortal who wants to stay here forever give me a break i'll come back again if i want to 
okay i hope this message has resonated for you if the message has resonated i want you to leave me a bird emoji set yourself free set your mind free from all these negative thoughts and i'm very sure you can do it because baba has come to assure you that you, you can you can get there okay i wish you a lot of love until the next reading i hope if you've liked the video you've actually hit that like button and decided to be a part of the tarot pal community thank you again for giving me the opportunity to read for you